Welcome to Dream Lifestyle TV. What is your body worth? It's pretty well known that the most successful and highest paid athletes in the world spend hundreds of thousands of dollars a year investing in their bodies. Four-time NBA champion LeBron James spends 1.5 million US dollars a year on his body. Seattle Seahawks quarterback Russell Wilson revealed on Bill Simmons' podcast recently that he spends more than a million dollars annually taking care of himself. It goes without saying that such high-level athletes need access to the best fitness and recovery equipment. But much of their investment goes to actual humans, personal trainers, chiropractors, massage therapists, and the like. Big box gyms with the most expensive toys have proven for years that the highest paid, the highest end exercise equipment is useless if you don't have someone to show you how to use it properly. Create a program that will help you reach your goals and hold you accountable to the work that needs to be done to get there. Now I'm not suggesting that you should spend a million dollars a year on your body even if you had that much disposable income. But I'm saying this. Of all the things we could be spending our money on, our body and health is among the very best investments with a very high return. I'm guilty as charged here. I've only started investing in massages, facials, manicure and pedicure now. I've always only limited my investment in training, nutrition and of course rest. So whenever someone tells me that they can't afford to hire a trainer, or coach or other healthcare practitioner, I'm dubious and very suspicious. Oftentimes, it isn't a matter of not having the money. It is how we've chosen to spend it. And too often, we spend it on everything but ourselves. This was never more apparent than during the pandemic, when the data were out clear, shouting. Those who are overweight or suffering from lifestyle diseases like type 2 diabetes or cardiovascular disease were at a much greater risk of serious illness or death from COVID-19. One of my sincere hopes is that this experience has reinforced how important it is to take care of ourselves first. But it's even simpler than that. Financial advisors and coaches have been teaching for decades the importance of saving and making regular deposits into our retirement accounts so we can live comfortably as we get older. And there is no doubt that that is important. But I also hope that someday we will get to the point where investing in our bodies and health is prioritized just as much. So back to the question in the subject line. How much is your body worth? It doesn't take a million dollars a year to be strong and healthy, avoid disease and enhance our longevity, unless you are LeBron James, of course. But it probably costs more than we are currently spending. And it is definitely worth more than Starbucks or Cafe Vida in the long run. Can you really not afford our monthly subscriptions as you say that it's too expensive? 